Hello, my name is Voya and welcome to my deep guide. Today I continue my epic journey in trying to find the best paper-like screen protector for my books Note Air. And we have these guys today. So we got five different screen protectors here, all got from Amazon. None of them are made for Books Note Air. So these are all kind of like iPad uh, type of thing that you have to actually cut down to size. I wanted to actually check that out um, and see how they perform. Now, I am aware that there is one known uh, Books Note Air screen protector, but that one's only in Japan and it doesn't really ship to Norway, so I don't have a way of getting it. So I gotta try these. So let's dive in. So number one is the ESR screen protector, and it comes actually not in a, a cardboard kind of folder, but in, uh, in an actual box. And it's the only one of the bunch that comes in that box. And the package of it is substantial so you get the squeegee to apply it with a nice felt uh, side on here so that it doesn't damage the screen protector uh, then everything in here so this is the screen protector I've already cut it down to size so that it's smaller than it is and it also has the cleaning kit the holders and um, yeah the instructions on how to actually apply so overall, a nice package. And the only thing that's a downside is you can just get one screen protector. Well, in the other ones or some of the other ones, you actually get a two. So that would be a minus on uh, the ESR screen protector. I was checking stuff out and the ESR screen protector is supposed to be a two pack. Um, but the one I received is, yeah, contained only one even though it was sealed and everything was fine. So yeah, that's definitely not the best. So hopefully when you order, you will get a two pack. But yeah, uh, in my case, I got just the one. Number two is Mob Dick Jot Till You Drop. And um, yeah, this is a two pack. So it's you get two screen protectors and it's a, you know, standard kind of envelope type of packaging, but it's a very, very complete packaging indeed. So you get the squeegee, you get the anti-slip pads one while you're applying it. You get the whole cleaning kit with the cleaning, the cloth, dust stickers, and each of the screen protectors comes in these nice pouches so that your screen protector is yeah, arrives to you in a good shape. So overall, the packaging on the Mobdick um, Jot Till You Drop is excellent. Then number three is the Nilkin AG Paperlike screen protector. And I believe that this is also a two pack. I'm not sure, I'm gonna double check. So it comes in an envelope as well. And the packaging is fairly standard. You get your instructions, you get the squidgy, you get the ancillary kit, which is going to be the wet cloth, location sticker, dust stickers, and screen cleaning cloth. So fairly complete package there. And you get this uh, yeah, kind of folder for protective folder for your screen protector and only one screen protector in the Nilkin as well. So same like um, the number one. On number three, you also get one screen protector okay packaging on this one too. Paper-like film is a huge envelope, number four, like, so it has all these kind of things, but um, yeah, one of the things that they say is that it's removable, so that you can kind of take it off and apply it many times, so maybe that's true. Um, this is a two-pack, it actually says here, so on this guy we actually have two, and inside we get you get the product manual, you get two sets of application uh, material, which is the cloth, positioning stickers, dust stickers, and the preparation pad. You get one squeegee and you get one envelope, but this time it actually contains two screen protectors. One is cut to size and this is the original size that you get it in. So excellent packaging here for number four. 
And lastly, we have the paper texture film, fills in writes like paper. So this is the version for 12.9 inch um, uh, iPad, and none of these are made for uh, Node Air, as I mentioned, so they all have to be kind of cut to size. So the packaging is opening at the bottom. It's again an envelope, and this guy too, contains only one screen protector. It's a very sparse type of a, a, yeah, packaging. You get a cloth and your screen protector. So, and this is, yeah, this is just for yeah, whatever. But um, that's your screen protector. This is kind of, and a cloth. So yeah, not, not the best. All right, and here is the setup. So um, I've marked them with the marker as one, two, three, four, five, and each is a horizontal strip. I don't know if you can notice that there. So here you can see that we have five horizontal strips. And um, yeah, because I'm not gonna remember all the names, I'm just gonna refer to them as uh, numbers. So the first one is ESR screen protector. Number two is mob dick jot till you drop. Number three is AG paper like. Number four is paper like film. And number five is paper texture film. On the bottom here, I left it bare. So this is the Note Air without a screen protector, so we can have a reference point to compare these guys with. The application process was equally easy on all of them. Some of them have two protective films, like both on the surface and both on the uh, underlying, well, all of them have on the underlying surface, but I think only two of them didn't have on the front surface. In reality, that really doesn't matter. The application was equally easy for all of them, and considering that I was just rushing through. It was very nice and uh, yeah, bubble free pretty much. So especially under the conditions that were uh, because I did this in the kitchen while I was waiting for something to boil. <laughs> so not the optimal conditions, but pretty much great results. Application was pretty much equal across the board. Now, the number one thing that does um, bother me and the number one thing that I'm interested in is actually not the feel itself, it's the reflectivity. Because the previous uh, time when I tested them, I would have been happy with the previous uh, uh, version because the feel was great. A little bit on the harder side, but the reflectivity was just too much. So. Um, for me personally, that's the number one thing that I care about. And if I turn it like this, so we have this LED strip and you can see something interesting. So this is the screen itself without the uh, screen protector. So through AG uh, glass. And as you can see, as soon as we hit number five, four, three, and two, there we go. So the light actually appears um, far more sharp, far more glary, and yeah, just way, way worse than what you actually have on the device without the screen protector. However, number one, you can see how it moves. The whole light actually is moving sideways, glowy, 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 and on number one, it disappears. And furthermore, I'm not sure if the camera can actually catch this, but if you compare the reflection here on the uh, AG glass, you can see that we can, uh, on the glass, we can see the tiny faint pinpoints of LEDs of that light. However, if I move it over here, the, the sharpness is totally dissipated. You can see those um, uh, pinpoints of light and that's the stuff that's actually distracting for me. So for me, um, definitive winner and the best performer and the better performer than uh, without the screen protector is the screen protector number one. Now the second point that is also very very important and for me more important than the paper feel is the clarity of the um, uh, screen protector. How much does it cover the test and how much does it distort the text or the images underneath? So let's check that out. I'm not sure how much you can see. So all of them are performing very, very nicely. Um, way, way better than the paper like uh, that I tested, the uh, Apple paper like. However, number five does have a bit of an issue. So you do have 
a bit of coloration and a little bit of kind of yeah losing the sharpness and all that kind of stuff so for me the five one was the worst performing one but overall um yeah three four two and one were all equally good with the exception that the reflection does come into play and uh, for me as i said number one had the best reflection so the overall combination so far number one still is the number one now i did quite a bit of writing not just this yeah this is all the writing that i did no i did a lot of writing in a different notebook um, where i was testing all of this kind of stuff and it was actually quite difficult to uh, determine what's what um, but yeah i spent quite a lot of testing one with two one with three one with four and all that kind of stuff and then i kind of came up with these overall scores for the paper-like feel and you'll see it it, it ties in with the roughness in the sound categories but overall um, I would grade that the paper-like feel on default just of the screen itself uh, without any screen protector would be let's say three so that's our threshold three out of ten so compared to that number three uh, screen protector number one feels like a seven screen protector two feels like an eight and I would grade uh, remarkable two um, as about seven and a half or something like that as a paper feel of the surface itself not the writing experience but the surface itself so just as a reference point if somebody's interesting then we have um, nine and a half nine nine and i would also grade uh, the uh, papier for example quirk logic papier i would grade that as nine nine and a half actually um, as a paper like feel just so that you have those kind of reference points so yeah these are kind of the scores that uh, they would be so the least paper like is number one but it still is considerably more paper like than the raw glass on top here so number one is definitely an improvement a considerable improvement over the default state without screen protectors however the other ones are definitely more paper like so now let's do the sound test of each of them i'll start with the reference point being the um yeah the 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 raw device itself without any screen protector Screen protector number one. Number two. Three. Four. and five. As far as I'm concerned, uh, the sound reference point would be, let's say, number four. So screen protector number one, uh, being least paper-like of the bunch, scores seven, which is still considerably better, in my opinion, than without the screen protector. Um, and then the rest of them around the nine and nine and a half. So really the differences are quite small. The one thing that I would say about number five is that while the sound itself is great and it does sound excellent um, occasionally it will squeak so i'm not sure if that's a thing and then more i kind of used it more it kind of squeaked um, but if it doesn't squeak maybe it's the nib itself because when i use this hard one then it doesn't really squeak so it really depends um, maybe it's just my writing style or something like that but that squeakiness did come through on the number five uh, best sounding ones are definitely number three and four and overall three and four are incredibly similar like almost the same type of a thing just minute differences between the two the same story go goes with the roughness so the default screen is quite smooth because it's glass it's not super smooth because it has some kind of texture to it but it's still just glass and it just feels really really smooth so that's number two as a reference point the screen without any screen protector uh, screen protector number 
one improves it, let's say to number four or five, I couldn't make up my mind. I think five is a more realistic option because it's just a little bit more rougher than a four because you do have this kind of feel. And honestly, it feels most like the super note surface. It has that um, the main thing that I wanted to have, which is to uh, kind of lessen the glideness of it. So that it does, but it's not super rough like these guys. So the, um, yeah, the number two is very rough and then four and three are super rough, like very, very rough. And then five as well, kind of there. So you have these scale of roughness with number one being the smoothest but just because it's not rough it doesn't mean that it's slippery so it's definitely not slippery and that's why i'm giving it a five the rest are far more rough and more paper like and the number three and four are the roughest of the bunch now keep in mind rougher the surface more quickly it will wear out the nib so yeah that's something to keep in mind then we have the thickness and the score here is uh, you score higher the thicker you are right so it's not just the mark itself so uh, in its there's no way that i can film this it's just i tried and it, i just keep losing focus but it's something that yeah you can definitely see and there's like measurements and all that kind of stuff they're all roughly the same but uh, number one is considerably thinner than any of the other ones so all of the other ones are definitely a layer on top. The number one is definitely the thinnest and for me the best experience because it doesn't really feel like a like an intrusion. The rest of them actually are thick enough for you to understand that you do have an added layer on top and that's something that I don't like. So for me number one definitely wins there and of course the reference is zero because that's where it starts um, Yeah, without a screen protector. So once I was done with uh, all of those kind of tests, then I just wanted to yeah, do some more testing and writing and comparing and all that kind of stuff. And this was just like comparing one more time in this uh, um, kind of uh, notebook. And then I started to do method of elimination, writing a line and then basically kind of figuring out which one is the best one for me to try and eliminate one at a time. So once I was doing these things, I kind of figured out that, um, yeah, I never didn't have any issues with number one. Number two consistently became kind of uh, too rough and too hard. It just feels a little bit too hard on uh, the surface itself. I don't know why there's like no dampening while writing and definitely too rough. It's something that's going to be kind of, uh, yeah, eating away at the pen very, very quickly. Um, number five had that squeaky quality, which just started to kind of intrude. So it was automatically these two guys were out and I was coming down to these three. Um, the comments on the three and four is that they are very rough, but they feel good as opposed to these two, the squeakiness and the hardness. These two are rough, but they do actually feel good. So number one, two, one, three and four are so far doing really good. Then I did a lot more testing and then I confirmed that this one is hard, that this is not nice and that again, no matter what I do, I come back to one, three and four then some more kind of uh, question and answer types of things because that's what I like to do and then is it too slippery maybe not because that's when I realized that it's actually not slippery just because it's not rough it doesn't mean that it's uh, slippery so that's definitely the case with this one like it is on the super note for example this is too rough yep is this really hard is this good i don't know but it feels good so is it hard no is it squeaky no is it nice yes so both of these were good and this one was definitely squeaky and without the screen protector it does feel a little bit too slippery and then i finally got to the whole point where three and four basically to you know kind of at, at the end of the day they feel pretty much exactly the same so um for me it's between one and three and four it doesn't matter i'm just gonna call it four because it's larger and it was easier to write on it so for me it's basically one and three and four uh, one is the thinnest 
it has the best reflectivity, it has decent paper anti-slippery feel, and a decent sound. It's not too loud and it feels good. It feels better than the um, raw surface without the screen protector. Number four or three, it has the best paper feel and comfort combination. This one is also very comfortable, but the paper feel is better than number one. It is, however, thicker and it has problematic reflections, but the sound and roughness and the overall feel is excellent. So those are very different types of uh, experiences here. In the end, it came to a personal choice. And for me, I think it's between one, three and four. And yeah, for me, it's definitely the yeah number one. That's the one that's for me. And it won because of the reflectivity, best at reflectivity, which is the most important one for me. The thinnest, which is also very important for me, and the clarity, which was really, really good. The feel is great, the sound is great, and the tip, longevity, because it's not the roughest one, is actually something that I take into consideration. So for my type of use case scenario, number one, because of all of these combined factors, is definitely the one for me. But as I said, if what you're looking for is the paper feel, the roughness and the sound, and you're not that bothered by the reflections and the thickness, then number three and four is definitely uh, the better choice for you. So all things considered, for me, definitely out of these five, or actually out of the previous two as well, so out of all the seven screen protectors that I've tried so far for the Books Note Air, the ESR uh, screen protector is by far the best because it has absolutely the best uh, reflections or uh, anti-reflections. It really is ultra thin, as they say here. It feels great. It's not super paper-like, but it definitely is not glidey or anything like that. It sounds nice and it's very comfortable to use. Now, the only bad thing is that uh, in my case, this should have been a two-pack, but in an unopened package, I have received just one uh, screen protector. So, Maybe that's a fluke. I don't know. Maybe they're advertising it wrong. I really don't know. But either way, um, even as a one pack for the price and what you actually do get is fine. So if you get for the price, you actually get the two that you're supposed to get, then I think it's absolutely the best deal. But even as a one pack, uh, it's a very complete package. And for $19.99, it's kind of a standard price. So it's medium higher price, but it doesn't cross that $20 threshold as some of the books note dedicated uh, screen protectors do. So for example, when I was checking out all of the uh, screen protectors for, that are meant for Note 2, they are all 24 or 20 dollars or something like that which is not the case with this one so still price wise it's okay if however you're definitely hung up on that paper like feel the roughness the the rough sound of it and all that kind of stuff then these two uh, are a better option however for me they are most definitely not an option because of that reflectivity because of the thickness and yeah those two combined I simply don't like it. It's not, I, I would prefer writing without the screen protector than with something that adds reflectivity or worsens the reflectivity and adds significant thickness as these do. I'm still not 100% sure if I'm gonna apply the screen protector that I chose immediately or not, simply because I'm gonna scour a little bit more and gonna try and see if I can find some other screen protectors. But to be honest, for my needs, and I explained which they are and why this is my choice, so this is my choice. It's not supposed to be your choice if you don't agree, so please do keep that in mind. But yeah, um, I'm very happy with this. So. Maybe I'll do another round of screen protectors, but most likely I won't, simply because I found what I've been looking for. And lastly, I just wanted to kind of mention that you saw that I was using my standard uh, setup, the Samsung pen with the HP gray nib, but I've tried all the screen protectors with other uh, pens. So for felt tip nibs, it's the same thing, no matter which one you use, it's variations of the nib, but the screen protector feels the same. For me, it kind of, it translates equally between the hard nibs and the felt tip nibs. So 
it doesn't matter. The same thing applies to both. I hope you liked the video. If you did, please like and subscribe and tick the notification bell so that you get notified when the new videos are out. Stay safe, stay healthy and see you in the next video. Bye!